they kind of drew me in with the packaging. I'm going to go counterclockwise because that's how I roll. I don't know why it is so difficult for me to see this side of my face. Let's, let's do that. Yes, that's sexy. I know. Well, hello, my beauty. <coughs> wow. Let's do that again, shall we? Well, hello, my beauties, and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 43 and from the Netherlands, hence the accent. So, yeah, um, I have done well, as you see, my base. Uh, not really my, oh, my shirt is not OK. Uh, I haven't done my eyes because I thought, let's try this one. I am, the only thing I did is I took it out of uh, the thingy and I removed the plastic sheet. That's that's basically it. And the reason I got this is well, first off, I, you know, they kind of drew me in with the packaging. To be honest with you, that that neon green and you have the neon uh, iridescent green background. It's just a very boring palette, probably without the pretty backing. But yeah. I also have the Aquarius one and another reason I wanted to get it is because I wanted to know if there were reoccurring shades because some of the shades in uh, the Pisces palette looked very very similar to shades in the Aquarius palette especially on picture and I am talking about uh, the, these two darker browns and then this one. Now I have the Aquarius palette here, I'll put them side by side. I don't know how it translates on camera, but in real life, the shades are not the same. The brown, this brown in this palette is darker than the darkest brown in this palette. So that's this, this shade there. Uh, the other shade I thought was the same is th the mid brown. They're not the same. This one is a bit more uh, yellow, more warm toned. Uh, and this one is a little bit more neutral. The other shade I thought was the same was this one, uh, but it's not uh, because this one has a blue undertone and this one has more of a yellowy green undertone. So they are not the same. So if you were well, kind of bummed about that, they're not. What I'm going to do, however, oh, is I'm going to uh, swatch both palettes so you can see. And what I really like about this, to be quite honest with you, this is orange, so you can really, and I love the combination also between green and orange. It gives you an whole, an, a, a whole another, I cannot talk today, dimension. Oh yeah, I still have a bit of green on my eye, I see. That's because this is the second look I'm filming today. So I am going to start with the big highlighter shade. Then I'm going to go up and I'm going to go counterclockwise because that's how I roll. I'm going to do that with both palettes. The Pisces is going on this arm, the Aquarius is going on this arm. Let me get my makeup wipes ready. I have a towel on my lap that I can dry my hands on. So yes, it's going to be a speed through, a little bit of music. I hope you can see the differences. Let me put them like this. The shades match up. I just don't know if you can see the shade here, the highlighter shade, because it's really, it's a peachy, it's very pretty. This one is almost my skin tone, but it's still a very, very light peach. The first thing I notice is that this one swatches better. So the mattes, the darker mattes, especially the browns, and then the dark blue swatch better than this dark brown and this dark green. Uh, one of my complaints, well, yeah, complaints. Yeah, it, it is kind of a complaint for me about the Aquarius palette was that the browns um, blended so easily that I blended them away if I wasn't careful. So I'm actually hoping 
that this palette kind of isn't as soft. When I felt this shade, it wasn't as soft as the brown in the other palette. So I'm kind of hoping that that means that because it feels a little bit less soft, it kind of sticks better on my eye. I think I can get more variation of looks out of this palette than the Aquarius one, because every which way you looked at it, this one was either a brown or blue look, well, mostly mostly blue looks, and I really tried to get to give you variations. This one though, because the color changes in that palette, I think I can get, uh, get more variance in uh, looks in this one. For now, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do a simple look. Let me think about what I'm going to do. One debt to society later. Okay, so I think I think I have it. I really want to play with the green, but I also am very intrigued by uh, the shade you cannot see, which is the highlighter shade. Usually I set my base a bit when I'm working with greens, or I work backwards. So let's let's go and work backwards. I have here a fluffy brush. It looks dirty, but it is clean-ish. I'm going to start with this matte green. I'm going to build up the color instead of blend it out. So I haven't set my eyeshadow base. There's not as much kick up uh, with this shadow as I thought there would be. I am tapping off my brush because I did my base. And I am first stamping the color on with a fluffy brush to get a light layer. So I'm basically setting my eyeshadow primer with this green shade. And then when I feel I can I'm just gently going over my eye. I am blending a little bit on top or above. Okay, so this method seems to be working, which is good because the trouble with uh, greens is that they can end purples, is that they can get patchy quickly. This one seems to lock into place, which is good. Okay, still in the same color. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush, still fluffy. And I'm going to place it lower. And I'm still tapping on, concentrating the most color in the outer corner. But because I'm kind of tapping, it saves blending. I'm blending lightly, but just more to distribute the color. Yes, okay. Do I have fallout? Yes, I do a bit. But because of this brush, I also have a little bit of kick up in the pan. The trouble is because these uh, pans are uh, uh, quite narrow, especially for these types of brushes. You kind of, yeah, I don't know. You need to be a little bit more rough. I don't know how to explain it, basically. And now I'm also bringing it in a little. I'm not too worried about here on my lid because I think I need to cut the crease. Smaller brush still, still that darker green. Yes, it is more of a I don't know, job to do it this way, but for me, it saves a lot of frustration uh, building up shades like this instead of blending them out. And now I'm concentrating on the outer edge, and this is a very soft, nice brush to work with. The base is set with itself, and now I can kind of blend. And I'm have I have the shade pretty true to pen at the moment, so yeah. I've said this before, I think, but this is how you can, well, basically build up a one color look as well. You can do this with browns, you can do this with any color. It saves a lot of blending time as well, at least for me it does. Let's bring this shadow down, and I don't particularly mind it if it's a bit messy. It's a very nice green to work with though. Okay, I do want a line here a little bit darker, so I need a different brush for that. I'm getting a, it's a stiffer brush with a tip, which is creating probably massive fallout. But I kind of know where I want to cut the crease, and I want it to be as dark as I can get it without incorporating a brown, because the browns in here are not as dark uh, as this green I'm working with now. They're a different tone, but I don't want to use it. Not in this look. Let's uh, also kind of pack it on here. Okay. Yes, I have massive fallout. So let me clean everything up a little bit. I hope. Because I want that very light shade 
there, I need to cut the crease, or at least I want to cut the crease. I do want to cut the crease a little bit more in. That means I want it a bit higher, the inner part of my eye, than it needs to be. And this just takes practice, you know. The first time I cut the crease, I was like very nervous. I don't know why, because it's just makeup. If you if you mess up, you you can wash it off. It's up too high. So what I'm doing is with the brush I used last, I'm just placing green shadow back. And that happens sometimes. Like so. So let's let, let that sit for a little bit. I will cut the other side first. So let's recut that part. You know, I'm not too worried about it not being as sharp as you see on Instagram. My eyes are older than most of the girls you see, or boys you see on Instagram anyway. I'm not getting that line as sharp. Oh, this brush is... Um, I removed the excess product. Now I'm just kind of soaking up excess with that brush. Like you do with your foundation. Um, and you know, this is the way it is. I'm not too bothered. I am grabbing a brush. Uh, let me grab you. I'm going to go into the center shade, which is that, well, orangey highlighter shade. I'm going to spray. And I'm going to plop it, well, there where I cut the crease. But I am going to go as close to the line as I can with this brush. But this brush isn't as precise. So basically, I'm just stamping it on and seeing how opaque I can get it. So most of the surface is done. Now I'm switching to a smaller brush with which I can be a bit more precise. Okay, so I have a lot of fallout on my face. So maybe this is not better to do your eyes first, I mean. I don't have anything extra on my brush, but I want to blend it here. Now I'll probably uh, plop on a little bit of that um, green back in a minute. Okay, so I can wipe it away, which is good. So let me do the same on the other eye. I have that green on this brush. I'm going to place it back a little bit here and then blend it over. And then I'm blending the upper edge of that green a little bit more. I think it looks pretty. I also think that I have a lot of fallout underneath my face. Do your eyes first with this palette. I think that's I think that's the best um, thing I can say. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean you. I have a small brush here. I'm going to go in the center shade. That's going to go around my eyes on my bottom. Well, not on my bottom, but my bottom lid. I, whatever. I'm just making sure that it connects because I like that. I could use a different shade, one of the other shades, but I think I kind of like it like this. It's nice and simple. So I like that. I'm going to plop on liner, mascara. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that now. Liner, mascara is on and um, I decided to do a whale tail. So if you want to know how I do these, I have a tutorial on my channel. I will link it. The lippy that I have on because I changed the lippy. The original one I was wearing was one from NYX. One of the, of the turned up lipsticks in the color stone, which I love. But it didn't really go with this look. And I was looking for a particular color that I, well, couldn't find initially. But I have this one. This is one from Miss Young. A fashion matte in the color 11. Oh, well, that's handy. 11. Uh, it's one from AliExpress. And I uh, thought actually that it went nicely. It's, it's, it's a weird color and it seems to be not skipping. It's not dry done completely, but yeah. Uh, I've never tried this one before. I have a bunch. I have four. These are the four colors that I have. And I actually quite like this color. And it is still drying down a little bit. But yeah, it kind of feels nice. So yeah, I, I will link them down below. Color 11. But uh, let's uh, do highlighter because I don't have highlighter on my face. I want to use that one. Why? Well, because I can. So let's see what it does. It is, uh, it, this picks up quite a lot because it's a loose brush. It's not always the best for formulas like this, but. 
When I buff it out, ooh, there is the shine. Nice, let's see what it does with a denser brush. Is it me or is it not? Is this side shinier? I don't know why it is so difficult for me to see this side of my face. It's the second time I've dipped in though with this brush. Ah, there it is. I need to hold my head weirdly. I don't think I... It, it matters a lot uh, what kind of brush you use, to be honest. I like this brush that I have here. This is one from Nabla. Oh, that, way, that maybe was not a good idea what I'm doing now. Now you shiny nose. Let's, let's do that. Yes, that's sexy. I know. No, this brush is good. Yes. Let's also plop a little bit there. So I'm going to plop all my falsies. And then I will give you my thoughts so far. So yeah, I will be right back. Yes, falsies are on. If you see a little bit of white, that's the lash glue. But this is the finished look. Strike the pose. Or something. Never mind that. I'm going to clean off my arms uh, a little uh, while I talk to you. So my first impression on the Pisces palette, is it worth your money? Yeah, I think it is. I actually think it's better than the Aquarius. I think it is a little bit more versatile because the greens that you have in there, especially the shimmers, are more versatile. You know, not as close together as they are in the, uh, in the Aquarius palette. I do wish though that this one was not in here, that this one was a bright green, matte. An apple green or something like that, you know? And why, pray tell, BH Cosmetics, do we need browns in every of these palettes? You have your Capricorn, that's an all brown palette. Make the rest of the palettes colorful without any browns. So people, well, if they want the brown palette, if they want browns, they can get the Capricorn, you know? We don't need browns in every palette. Yes, I understand that people want a complete palette. <sighs> but the palettes are so small that it is not a problem, uh, you know, to grab one extra palette. That you, that you grab two of these. Just, they are accent palettes, you know. Make them all colorful, please. But yeah, um... And that ran over. My first impression on the green is very, very pretty. You saw how I used it. I think that you need to use this one the same way. Or at least I will. Um, because it saves blending. And I think that the, the blend then is prettier if you build these colors up instead of blend them out. And I think you can also be a little bit more precise with it. So yeah, uh, I, I actually, when I saw this, I was not really excited about the palette. Uh, but now that I have used it and I swatched it and I felt the shades, I kind of am. I kind of like this palette, to be honest with you. Um, I want to do three looks with it. I don't know when it will be up though. I am uh, hoping to have the five looks with the Spotlight palette up well, this week. That's the plan, at least. So I am uh, working on, well, working as fast as I possibly can to give you... The three looks with this palette. Uh, yes, you can use all the palettes together. Maybe I will. But I'm not sure yet. Basically. If there is a color combination that you want me to do, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know if you have the palette. If you were maybe on the fence about the palette. Um, I think this is a better one than the Aquarius one. It's more versatile. So yeah. Uh, I think it's, well, as I'm filming it, it's on sale again. Because these palettes go on sale all the time. But yeah. But again, BH Cosmetics, stop with the browns in these small palettes. Because you have your Capricorn. Yes? Okay. This was it. If you like this video and the rants, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I will list everything I used on my face today down in the comment section. And I will also uh, give you the link to the seller where I bought the lippy. I am going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening, and I hope to see you soon 
in my next one, which probably will be tomorrow, I think. Yes. Bye, guys.